Today we will be doing an experiment to verify the law of combinations of resistance in series using a meter bridge. So apparatus, meter bridge, galvanometer, one way key, a resistance box, battery, jockey, two unknown resistance, wires and connecting wires. The effective resistance of the combination of two resistors when connected in series is obtained by the equation unknown resistance x s in series is equal to x1 the resistance of the first wire plus x2 the resistance of the second wire this is the circuit diagram for a meter bridge when resistance wires are connected in series connect the unknown resistance r1 across the right gap of the meter bridge So an unknown resistance R1 has been connected across the right gap of the meter bridge. Include a 7 ohm resistance in the resistance box and find the balancing length. So here you can see that it deflects to the left hand side. Here it deflects to the right hand side. Here still it deflects to the right hand side. You can see now at a reading of 59.6 you have achieved a null deflection. This is the balancing length 59.6 centimeter. Now include a 10 ohm resistance in the resistance box and find the balancing length. You can see the deflection is towards the left hand side and here you can see the deflection is towards the right hand side which is still towards the right so at a balancing length of 67.8 cm we have achieved the null deflection so the balancing length is 67.8 cm when a 7 ohm resistance was included we got a reading of a null point L as 59.6 cm and 100 minus L, we got it as 40.4 cm. And after calculating X is equal to R, 100 minus L by L, we got 4.74 ohms. Now, when a 10 ohm resistance was included, we got a reading of null point as 67.8 cm. And 100 minus L, we got it as 32.2 cm. And X, after calculation, we got 4.75 ohms. The mean of these two readings, we will get it as approximately 4.75 ohms. Now we will find the resistance of the unknown wire R2 here. So R2 is connected across the right gap of the meter bridge. So we include now a 7 ohm resistance in the resistance box and find the balancing length for the 7 ohm resistance. 
so now we can see here the galvanometer shows a deflection towards the left side here the galvanometer shows a deflection towards the right side so here it shows towards the right here it shows towards the right and now here you can see at a length of 60.1 you have got the null deflection in the galvanometer so 60.1 cm now include a 10 ohm resistance in the resistance box so you can see 10 ohm resistance has been included in the resistance box and find the balancing length for the 10 ohm resistance so now you can see here at this side the galvanometer shows a deflection in the left hand side at this side it shows in the right hand side so it will be in between here so you can see here the balancing length has been achieved so it is 68.8 cm so it is at 68.8 cm so here for the unknown resistance wire x2 when 7 ohm resistance was included we got a balancing length of 60.1 cm and 100 minus l was 39.9 cm and after calculation x is 4.65 ohms when a 10 ohm resistance was included we got the balancing length as 68.8 cm and 100 minus l is 31.2 cm and x after calculation was obtained as 4.53 ohms the mean approximately of 4.65 and 4.53 is 4.59 that we can write it as approximately 4.6 ohms now x1 plus x2 you get it as x1 plus x2 is 4.75 plus 4.6 you get approximately 9.34 ohms here we have taken this one as r1 R1 is joined with uh, another wire that is resistance wire R2. So R1 and R2 has been already found out, and this has been connected in series, and this is connected towards the right gap of the meter bridge. This is the right gap of the meter bridge. Include a seven ohm resistance. so you can see here 5 and 2 see that all the keys are secure switch on the battery eliminator
insert the plug key and check for the deflections in the galvanometer by keeping the meter wire meter bridge wire and the jockey together so keep the jockey on the meter bridge wire and see for the deflection in the galvanometer you can see that deflection in the galvanometer is towards the left side and similarly by keeping it on the other side of the meter bridge you can see here the deflection is towards the right side so it shows that our connections are quite right include a 8 ohm resistance so 7 ohm has been already included take 1 ohm from here so it becomes 5 plus 2 6 7 plus 1 8 so 8 ohm resistance has been included in the resistance box now find the balancing length for the 8 ohm resistance so now here you can see the galvanometer shows a deflection in the left hand side and here it shows in the right hand side so the null deflection will be in between these two points you can see still the deflection is towards the left slightly So here you can see that it is at 46 at 45.5 you get a null deflection. Include a 9 ohm resistance in the resistance box. So we can include a 9 ohm resistance. So one has been inserted back. Let's take this one out. So it is 5 plus 2, 6, 7 plus 2, 8, 9. So 9 ohm resistance has been included in the resistance box. And find the balancing length for the 9 ohm resistance. So you can see here. The deflection is towards the left in the galvanometer. Reflection is towards the right in the galvanometer. So, to find the null point, so you can see that the null point has been achieved and it is 48.1 centimeter. When the two wires X1 and X2 were joined together in series and when a 8 ohm resistance was included, we got the balancing length as 45.5 centimeter and 100 minus L was 54.5 centimeter and X was calculated as 9.5. 5 ohms and for the second reading when a 9 ohm resistance was included the balancing length was 48.1 centimeter 100 minus L was obtained as 51.9 centimeter and x was calculated as 9.7 ohms the mean of the series we get it as 9.6 ohms result 
mean of x1 plus x2 is equal to mean of x1 and x2 in series and within the limits of experimental errors the law of combination of series is verified.